What is going on everyone? This is Horror Kid here and welcome back to a brand new Horror Kid Plays. This time I am playing Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening Special Edition via the Devil May Cry HD Collection on the PlayStation 3. Now you might be wondering how or what mission am I going to be playing? Well, first things first, I'm going to be playing the final boss mission in this game. And then finally, the bloody palace. So let's load game. And go as Dante. Yes, I do have a save file when I'm playing as Virgil. But I haven't gotten very far. So So let's go. Final mission in Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. And sorry if you actually Much better. Mission 20, Screaming Souls. Cast off your pride and embrace your faith. Actually, you know what? I'm going to customize a bit by equipping a different style. I've already maxed out Swordmaster. Hmm. I might as well go for Trickster. Equipment. Okay, I say I have a very good loadout. Just gonna turn up the volume a bit. And mission start. Final mission. Dante. Okay. And. Oh boy. Wow, he's almost down that quick. Wow, this boy is easy to beat. Wow, only took me around four minutes. Hold on, wait. All right, we have the credits fight. I really got handed to the soundtrack of DMC3. Though it's nowhere near as good as Devil May Cry 5, it's still a very good soundtrack. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Very easy. Well, mostly because I was playing with a bit of skill, a bit of luck, and probably because I fought Virgil so many times in the previous game. So far, 56 demons killed. This is what I love about the credit sequence in the Devil May Cry game. They actually make things interactive while the credits roll. So far, 84 demons killed. Well, you know what? That's enough demon killing in the after credits. What happened next? Nope, not gonna spoil that. Wow, only a minute and 33 seconds. So overall, an ass. So, I might as well say, So, now we just have Bloody Palace, which is basically a gauntlet. Now I say this is also a very great way for farming experience for your style. Yeah, when you master all of Dante's moves, you're basically like a god. And this is what I also love about Dante's Devil Trigger in this game. It changes forms depending on what type of melee weapon you have. This is also a very great way for finding red alerts. But these spiders, man. These are honestly where I can easily say are the worst enemies in this game.
Yeah, the reason why this is also called Special Edition is because you can also play as Virgil. So seriously, when you master Dante's moveset, you're basically equivalent to that of a demon slaying god. So I don't recommend playing on normal mode if you want to have a rage. Because this game is what I could easily say is one of the, well, not the hardest, but still pretty challenging. Okay, fighting statues, yeah, not, well, it's not hard. <laughs> I like how Dante mimics Ryu and Ken's fighting stance from Street Fighter when he has Beowulf equipped. Nice reference, Capcom. Let's might as well go for the lightning. And still no boss. Oh, these things. Yeah, seriously, those phantom disappearing and reappearing enemies are really, really annoying. So not as annoying as these things. Because, good grief, these things are hard to hit. Like, what's the point of these things when all they do is just fly and die? Like, you have to break their defenses, which that alone is hard depending on how much movement they go. Because, good grief, these things move around a lot. So 
Please let that be the end. Okay, hopefully there's a boss fight this time. Still no boss fight. Hey, these enemies are really great for farming experience for your style. Yeah, that's how you upgrade your style. You basically pull an RPG and use experience. Normally, I just grind bosses for experience, but Blade Palace mode is also a great way to farm for experience as well. <laughs> but still, this is a really fun game to play actually. Sweet. Okay, please let there be a boss. Oh, not these things. Again, give me a box. Eh. These bird things are really that hard to beat. Okay, this is easy. Almost got a triple S ring that time. Which I believe is stylish. The Dracula's Lizard.
Come on, get back here. So this is actually one of my least favorite bosses in this entire game because it's just a waiting game and it's a slog after a while. And because of crap like that. It's almost dead already. Come on. Ow. Ow. Come on. Okay, now we're starting to speed up. Okay, I press X. I this is what I don't like about Devil May Cry sometimes. It's almost dead. Just need a few more sword slashes. Finally! There we go! Just collecting my orbs. Okay, a few more floors, then I'm ending this video. Yeah, the trillion stab is actually one of the, what I can consider one of the harder moves to perform in this game. Okay, watch as I find another box. Or not. I go for Okay, another boss, because this is starting to get easy.
Oh no, not being fake. Blam. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, at least these things go down in just a few hits. Yeah, it's easier to defeat these things with just rebellion. So after this four, I think I'm gonna call it for this episode. Okay, that was a bit fast. Um... I think I could go on for a few more minutes. Come on, you death reaper look alike. Glam. Okay, I say that's it for this video. If you all enjoyed me through Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakenings, Final Boss, as well as the Blade Palace, like the video, subscribe, all that. I'll see you all either later tonight or tomorrow with a brand new video. I've been Harakid, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone.